Okay, guys, so we just finished uh, playing Path of Exile for four hours. Um, this is my very first time playing, so I figured I'd bring you guys a quick little, uh, you know, my first impressions and thoughts on PoE, even though it's been out for like 10 years. So let's go over a couple of the things that I really um, enjoyed. First thing is map. I like it. Uh, it's cool that you have the option to put it over or up in the corner. Um, I wish Diablo 4 had something like this. Um, it's really cool, but uh, before we get into any more details, let me just say that like overall my overall experience I actually enjoyed it. It was really fun um, It was really really cool. There's a lot of information to take in So if you are a new player just like I am Thank you so much demon Andrew my entire community everybody who helped me out tonight because a lot of this is very very confusing and it can make the learning curve very steep and it's really hard to get going unless you got people helping you i don't think i would be as far as i am in act two if i wasn't i'm um, getting help and this is us very slow rolling this we're not actually you know speeding through it so with that out of the way let's talk about it so we already went over the map let's talk about inventory real quick so inventory is actually really cool it's very similar to last epoch um it's very simple to just put stuff in um, and then you have your potions and then you have your skills tab and all this stuff What really gets gets starts to get confusing is the differences between the uh, nodes here to put in different um, Skill keys or skill gems that can go into these tabs and then whether they're linked like you see here How there's a beam between both of them or if they're not linked like you see here There's no beam between them Kind of understanding how all that works, especially when you're having gems that support each other. So uh, that part can be a, a nice little learning curve. The gems in the game act as your skills, which is really, really cool. There's a wide variety of different colors and gems that you can use in the game. I'm sure a lot of people who have been playing know this. I actually really like that instead of having, having a dedicated um, skills tab. Now, when it comes to your actual skills, this part is very, very overwhelming. I don't even know, is it P? So this part right here is the overwhelming part, which I think a lot of people know and can be very, very confusing, frustrating, or just like not knowing what's going on. Um, I definitely advise that you pick a build and you just kind of follow the guide so you can kind of get an understanding of how this works. But based on the class that you are, like I'm a ranger, you start where the picture is and then you just kind of go uh, obviously you could go all the way over here if you really wanted to with points um but it really depends on the build so i'm just kind of following a guide here and following the guide once you start to get stuff you're kind of like oh okay i'm doing all this damage stuff with bows so that all this makes sense increased life is very good um so a lot of this stuff is really cool subsequent things like um aura or like the chance to avoid being stunned regenerate two life per second uh, if you've used a life flask a lot of this stuff is pretty straightforward but it's just kind of like when you see all this it can be a bit of overwhelming but after adding all the points that i have in now it's actually not too bad i um, mean this is just the surface because a lot of this stuff is straightforward i uh, want you get up to here to have like jewel sockets and then when you get over here to like masteries and things like that um it's really going to shake things up so once we get there it'll be kind of cool we are level 17 um, and I'm playing like a multi-shot type build, so it's actually really cool, really fast. Um, and we do a lot of damage, which is kind of unique. Now, the next thing is your skills that you get from these gems. Um, on your skill bar here, as well as your potions. These are two separate bars. It's unlike any other ARPG that I've ever played, because you have one ARPG where it's just one button that acts as everything. This is more close to Diablo 2, where you have like a mana one as well as a heal one. Um, and then you have other flasks that do things like this just gives me just move speed for six seconds. It's pretty cool. Um, and then you have other bonuses that you can get on these flasks. Now, all of this stuff is interchangeable, like as far as the buttons. W A, uh, you know, Q SWAT or W or Q W E R T. And then you have one through five including mouse buttons. All this stuff is interchangeable, so you just use it based on your preference. Um, let's see. Questing, it's really cool. It's MMO-type-esque, where you have all the quests here. You go in into the map, and it'll show you where you need to go. Like, if I go over to the portal here, 
and it has a question mark on where I need to go for the next ARPG quest, uh, which is cool. And you can kind of just see, click, like deal with bandits. I need to go to these spots. If I need to go to way forward, I need to go here. So uh, the quest line is pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. It's, it's kind of like a substrata of what you're actually doing. Um, the movement and everything like this is really cool. So um, just a first glance, this is very, very surface level of the game. We played about four hours tonight and we got to level 17, we're in act two. I'm really kind of moving along at a very, very brisk pace. Uh, but overall, I really enjoy it. Once I started to understand how these nodes work and combining nodes, because you can use red gems, you can use blue gems and combine all this stuff, this is really cool. If you've played an ARPG before, especially like Diablo 2 or something like that, a lot of this stuff is going to make a lot of sense. Like just add fire damage plus 10 decks, 6% increased damage with both skills. Like it's pretty straightforward as far as what you're trying to accomplish. I think later on it's gonna be a little bit more complicated, but, um, and then like interchanging skills is pretty cool. Like I can come in here and I can just move rain of arrows and I can make it precision if I wanted to, or sniper's mark. And it can just be whatever it is. Like you can interchange these however you want. Same thing here, you can move these potions around however you need to. Um, I know you guys couldn't really see the potions over there, but yeah, so overall as just like a blanket, surface level first time playing um i enjoyed it i had a lot of fun it's really really cool the game seems to be very or much better with player you know playing with a party or not playing with a party you can play solo and it seems just as good um however here's a few issues that i have with the game until i just figured out that you can in the settings change default item allocation you need to make sure that this is on Otherwise, it's a free-for-all and you ba basically get to share loot. Uh, permanent allocation allows you to have when loot drops, it's just for you. So make sure that's on because that was a big problem the entire night because I didn't. I was like, man, I'm sharing loot with my teammates and that sucks because I need certain loot. Um, now, outside of that, one other thing that I didn't really care for is in the input, you cannot use cast lock for any input. Uh, outside of that, you can customize this however you need to. That's really cool. Um, and then, of course, like normal AI stuff is all nice with your sound. And you can change your mouse buttons and, the, and all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, overall, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You can zoom in, zoom out. Like, the, the experience was really, really fun. I enjoyed it. It actually is a really good compliment since Diablo 4 is in a bad state and kind of lacking when it comes to content and even though diablo 4 is a big part of our channel and our main focus we might start implementing playing uh path of exile a little bit more i thoroughly enjoyed playing it tonight and it was fun to play with demon big shout out to demon and yeah this is just my really brief on the surface review guys nothing too special here but if you are an avid arpg player I would definitely encourage you to play Path of Exile or at least give it a try. The game has been out for 10 years. We got about another year, year and a half until Path of Exile 2 releases. Um, and right now, just up to this point, it's actually very enjoyable and it's really easy to learn so far. Don't think that it's like super overwhelming. It, it just appears that way. Once you start get, start, you know, get going and stuff, it really, all that just kind of washes away. Uh, it's just all about like learning other things. But besides that, I really enjoyed the experience. Um, it was really fun. So yeah, like the video, comment down below, guys. Tell me what you guys think about Path of Exile, if you guys have ever played it, etc. I just kind of want, this is more for like new players who haven't played it like myself. If you are an experienced or veteran player, then this video probably doesn't apply to you. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed the experience. So if you're a new player, definitely give it a try. The game is free. The game is free, gotta add that in. The game is free for a free game. It, it's like, I don't want to say it rivals. It's probably even better than Diablo 4 currently. Like, it's probably even better than Diablo 4. So, uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.